look like the Witch King from Lord of the Rings, got a boob job. So hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're new here, hello, welcome. I'm Jack, but when I'm in drag, I go by Luna Rose, cause I'm the flower that blooms at night. And as you can read from the title of today's video, I went on another shopping spree and bought myself a bunch of new makeup. So let's get into it, shall we? I will try my best to link down below all of the products that I picked up in today's video. I did purchase them all with my own money, combined with the help of my Patreon family, as well as my OnlyFans family, which I will leave a link to down below. But the first product I picked up is from Beauty Bay, and it is their Wilderness Eyeshadow Palette. If you guys know anything about me, I've probably said it like a thousand times on my channel, but green is like my favorite color of all time. And this palette has so many gorgeous warm tones and this row of greens. Oh, it just speaks to my makeup loving soul. Girl, I just lost my crown. <laughs> but this palette just really like speaks to me. I think it is so gorgeous. And all oh, that row of greens and like mustards gets me wet, girl. If I had a vagina. And the next product I picked up in my little makeup haul binge is yet again another eyeshadow palette. You guys know in literally every single makeup haul I pick up multiple eyeshadow palettes and it is by far the thing that I collect most. But I picked up the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Pink Religion Eyeshadow Palette. I just love the whole concept of this like palette and like style of it. Along with the colour story, you guys know like a pink Barbie bombshell is very much like my go-to kind of signature but I just love anything that's like religious themed or like kind of sacrilegious themed should I say and kind of turns religion on its head and makes it a little bit like sexy and raunchy and like wrong is very much like my aesthetic and what I absolutely love so um yeah I couldn't resist the pink religion palette girl my crown's gone again literally two palettes and two crown losses okay so hopefully my crown stays on for this next product since this next product Literally, if I could put like my drag essence into a product or like ever collab with a brand, it would be something like very similar to this. Because the next thing I picked up is the Makeup Revolution Forever Flawless Midnight Rose Palette. Not saying they know who I am, but Luna Rose, the flower that blooms at night, the Midnight Rose Palette, literally the packaging and everything would be like what I would create an eyeshadow palette like to look like. And then the colour story is like a bunch of nice like warm tones. A bunch of nice like warm tones. I do wish this like silver was like substituted for like the green stem of a rose. But um, yeah, I really like the colour story. It gives very like sexy midnight rose vibes, which um, you know, is literally my entire branding. But um, super cute palette. Had to pick it up. I actually really like a lot of Makeup Revolution's products and they're super affordable. So I needed it. I just wish it was like actually my collab with them. <laughs> the next product I picked up is the Manny MUA Luna Beauty. We just seem to be on like a trend of Luna and roses being like in makeup. I just wish I made it first. But this is the Life's a Drag Facelift palette. So the Life's a Drag palette is one of my favourites and actually a go-to. And I did actually use it to do like some of my eye look today. And this is the facelift kind of remake version of it. So it contains all of the like original shades with a few like extra pops of colour and some more neutrals. But the pan size does look a little bit smaller. But um... Yeah, I really like Luna Beauty. Would have been what I would have called my makeup brand if I ever had the money or like thought of it like 10 years ago. And I actually really like the original. So um, yeah, I couldn't help but pick this up and I will definitely get use out of it in the future. Cute. And then the next thing I picked up is another eyeshadow palette. Don't worry, there are like different makeup products coming in just a second. Like I said, I just seem to haul eyeshadow palettes to like an unhealthy degree. But this is the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay collaboration palette. And I just really like the colour story of it. Nikki Tutorials is one of my favourite YouTubers of all time. And yeah, I just like the colour story. It's something that I can definitely get use out of and know I'll get use out of it. And it has quite an interesting like packaging and opening like style. So um, I need more eyeshadow palettes, clearly girl, like I've only got one pair of eyes, but about a thousand eyeshadow palettes. Don't you think that's an exaggeration? 
From NYX Cosmetics, I picked up two of their duochrome highlighters. So there is Twilight Tint as well as Snow Rose. This video is very triggering. Literally every single product I seem to have picked up has either like moon in it or rose in it or like a combination of the both. Like Twilight and Snow Rose. That is literally me and my brand if I combine these highlighters. But this one is like that kind of standard typical like purpley blue duochrome highlighter and Snow Rose is that standard typical kind of like pinky toned. But I really want to get in the habit of like playing and doing different makeup styles again and I used to be obsessed with like colourful highlighters and now I don't even really wear highlighter anymore but I really want to get back into like playing with fun coloured highlighters and making my skin all fun and colourful and um yeah, more products that I wish I named or thought of first. It's obviously a very popular thing, roses and moons. From Be Perfect Cosmetics, I picked up two of their loose glitters. So I picked up the shade Insomnia, which is like that Tweety Bird kind of bright canary yellow, as well as the shade Superstar, which is that like Barbie Mattel kind of pink shade with a slight like silver reflect to it by the look of it. But these are colours that I know I will get use out of and pigments are like a really good essential thing in drag. I just really don't reach for them all that often and I need to get into the habit of using pigments since they are literally the pure pigment colour and drag is all about like exaggeration and like packing it on. So um, yeah, I definitely need to get use out of these and they'll probably sit in a drawer for years until I do. Life of a hoarder. From Sample Beauty, I picked up pretty much their entire range of single eyeshadows that were available on Beauty Bay because there was all like on offer. So I don't know if they're still going to be available now or if it was like a sale thing like one off or whatever but I picked up a bunch of their single eyeshadows. I'm trying to get back into like the habit of using single eyeshadows again. So literally next to me when I'm filming I have like all of my single shadows in like colour category families to try and like get me to use them again. So um yeah I'll add this to the collection that I'll hopefully get used in the future since I actually love my single eyeshadows and I need more. Clearly, eyeshadows are a strange ob like, obsession and addiction to me. Never have too many. And then the final set of products I picked up are all from Trixie Cosmetics, which is now available on Beauty Bay. I'm hoping they bring across like their entire range, but I just picked up the few things that they had available that really like spoke to me. So I picked up their Summer of Love blush palette. The packaging of this and like styling of it just Oh, it makes me so happy and I absolutely love blush. The colours in this are very much like colours that I would reach for and it does also come with a highlight shade. Again, I'm trying to get back into highlighter. Like generally in makeup, it's become a trend now to not like wear highlighter. But a couple of years ago, I used to like pack it on and looking back in old pictures, I did actually like how it looked. So um, yeah, I picked up the Summer of Love blush palette. Don't mind me. This is literally what I do for like half the haul that I'm filming is just me trying to get the product out of packaging. But the next thing I picked up, oh, isn't from Trixie Cosmetics. It's from Kimchi Chic. I know they're not the same drag queen, but to me, I had them in like the same bundle. So this is the Kimchi Chic Gloss Over Gloss, I believe it's called. And it is in the shade Peach Shimmer. I'm always a big fan of like nudie, peachy kind of glittery lip glosses since it just makes your lips look so like mm, and delicious so um yeah I actually picked up something from Kimchi Chic. The packaging actually looks like surprisingly kind of similar to Trixie's so um I don't know if they have the same packaging company but then from Trixie Cosmetics I picked up the Red Scare Lipstick which is I believe the collaboration with Katia which is basically just a matte red lipstick Again, I don't really wear too many like red lipsticks or like branch out too much outside of my um, usual nude and pinks, but um, it was Trixie Cosmetics. They only had a few like products available and I just really wanted to support her. So hopefully she brings across the rest of them. And then I did also pick up Stacey, the vegan version, which is like a neon matte Barbie pink. This is definitely a color that I will get use out of. And Kimchi's Kimchi's girl. Trixie's packaging is just so cute. It's all like love heart shaped compacts and just everything to do with her brand makes me really happy and it is a fellow drag queen. So girl, I've got to support her. Not like she needs my money in any way, shape or form. <laughs> yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little like random rambles makeup haul. 
I genuinely have an obsession with purchasing makeup. It makes me so happy and obviously now it is my job, it is my career to do drag for social media. So therefore I like justify it in my head, but um, for sure I am a hoarder through and through. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below which products I should utilize in future transformations, or if there's any other brands or products I should check out, leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to The Girl Next Door with something more. There should be new videos every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, all at 8 p.m. at Greenwich Mean Time. And I will leave a link to all of my other social media linked down below. Obviously, that's what I just said. Can you tell I've had like two energy drinks today? Like my brain is fried. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye.